hello in this new video of the series about AWAF and Terraform we will show you how to manage a policy that it's already available on the big IP and so Terraform is a stateful tool so it needs to be aware so we need to import the policy into Terraform so we get the state and so let's see how we can do this so as you can see I have already a policy created that it's called scenario 2 it's here it's in rapid deployment uh, scenario that's it currently it's just a policy let's check which file we have today so as the previous video we have the variables the big IP so how to connect to the big IP the, the IP address and the port the credential too we are using an input file with the IP address and the port we are setting the variables and here is our main file so our main file is a little bit different than before because uh, as you can see we are still using the version 1.15 so the latest one at this time uh, from Terraform and the big IP to connect to the big IP but in the resource big IP WAF policy you can see that uh, there is less information than before but we will need some specific information before going ahead and yeah I will just show you another file this that is the output so the output will provide two output the policy ID and the, the JSON so the policy that will be used after uh, because you will see that we will import the policy into Terraform and we will get the policy in JSON format. But before that, we need the policy ID. And to get the policy ID, there is that sample of code that is available and changing the partition name and the scenario name, you will get you, the ID of your policy. Our policy is in common scenario too, so here is the policy ID. Let's start with the Terraform init, as usual. And the command that we will use is not a Terraform plan, but a Terraform import. import. So as you can see, we are importing the Terraform, uh, so the policy, and we are uh, using the policy ID at the end. So it will get the policy and so Terraform will have the state. So now we'll just execute that command to create this specific file that we will use later. And what we can do is a Terraform show. Okay. And you can see that we can see the policy. Before that was not there and now we have the policy so okay now let's start to do some modification and the first one will just be to push the same policy and using the same policy id and the file we just get it okay so let's do the terraform plan that this time because now Terraform has the information and it will show us that yeah here is the policy that's it we will do the Terraform apply and you will see that the policy will still be there nothing will change at this time we are just pushing the same policy but that will help us after because any modification we will do it via terraform that means that this first step is just to be sure that terraform is aware of the policy and know that it's it's good okay so policy is still there okay that's fine now let's 
go to the next step. Now I have imported my policy and I want to modify it. So let's check at what is inside my new main file. So I added some parameters, at least one parameter. And here is in the parameter uh, file, you have this entity that it's a specific for the parameters and we are adding it. So let's do the Terraform plan. And I will show you in the meantime that I only have the basic one in the parameter list. So now that, it, that it's done, I can do the, the Terraform apply. So let's do this and let's see if we see a new parameter in the list after that. Let's start checking. And yeah, we have a parameter, parameter one that it's created. Okay. That's finished. And I can show you that all parameter is still there. Yes, it's still there. Now what we want to do is also to add some URLs. I have no specific URL created. And what I will do is copy that file because again I already prepared all the files and you can see that the URLs we will be adding two URLs and we have the URL files with a specific configuration so again let's do the Terraform plan to check if we have not make any syntax mistake and if it's good you can see that we will be adding two URLs, so that's fine. And now let's do the Terraform apply. And we will see if there is some new configuration in our policy in a few seconds. Okay, we can see that the two URLs are there, they are created. Just the time to finish and you will see that the URL are there. So now let's go here and check on our policy on the attack signature. Uh, I want to check a specific attack signature. This one Okay, so you can see that this signature uh, it's here. And it's active and so on. Let's check another one. So now what we want to do is to modify the, the signature. So new main file, adding at the end after the parameter, the URL, the new signatures. And if we check on the signatures, okay, we are enabling and perform staging on this one and disabling this one. So let's do the Terraform plan. So Terraform now will be aware that we are adding these two signature. Okay, so it's there. And now let's do the Terraform apply. still doing some modification. Let's check what's going on. Um, 
and so on. All Synecdoche is here. And the other one. It's there. So that's it for today. We have uh, show you how to import a policy already existing in Obeg IP in Terraform. And after that, how to, to manage and to modify this policy. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.